Well, if you've ever used uh, Quick Charge to charge your phone, you, you, it quickly becomes indispensable, um, particularly with these larger um, capacity uh, batteries. I think it's 3,000 milliamp hour inside this LG V2, and I can get the thing to from zero to 80 percent in about 30, 35, 40 minutes, which makes a, a massive difference uh, to your productivity during the day. Um, Moreover, I think, you know, um, if you want to uh, have a, a mobile charging device, uh, such as a power bank, sometimes I've found that some of these power banks only put out enough to uh, slowly drain your battery when you're using it rather than uh, top it up. Uh, the other uh, downside uh, can be the price of these quick charge modules. Um, Okay, you know, there's, there's some here for about $20, uh, but with a power bank attached to it, you're looking at, you know, $40 or $60. And uh, lo and behold, I come across a um, quick charge module on AliExpress for $1.22 plus 72 cents shipping, which is about $2. Um, quite quite, quite a, a, an amazing uh, um, module uh, because I, I figured... Uh, you know, it, it will take. It's a buck converter, so I'll have to put you know voltage into this. But if I get a, a wall wart for a few dollars and one of these for two dollars, I've got myself a very effective second or third quick charge charger to leave at the office or around the house if I need it for for pen, for almost pennies. Um, it says it uh, handles um, QC2, QC3, and also the MediaTek version of of um, uh, QC, which is. Um, uh, what, Pump Express. Um, it handles all of the main voltages for QC2, which is 5, 9, and 12, and it's got variable adjustment from 3.4 all the way up to 12 volts for QC3. Now, QC3 actually does go up to 20 volts, but this thing here is limited to um, uh, uh, 12 volts. So, I wanted to see what the, uh, the brains of this thing was, so I stuck it under the scope. As you can see on the screen right now, it is a uh, a chip uh, called the IP6505. Uh, now, looking at the specs on um, uh, AliExpress, it, it has a claimed 25 watts and uh, an input range between um, 6 to 32 volts, whereas the chip itself uh, is more in keeping with the QC spec in that. Uh, uh, well, yeah, you can see down here, uh, you know, uh, 3 times 6 here, 6 volts times 3 amps, 18 watts, and again, uh, 2.5 times 8, I suppose that's a bit higher, that's up to 20 watts, is that right? But here, 3.6 times 4 or 5, that's 18 watts, and the voltage input range uh, is specified as uh, 4.5 on the low side, which is a bit tricky, um, up to 28 volts. So the the module is over specking it. I don't know whether or not they've done something to uh, allow the input range to extend beyond the chip's capabilities. Uh, maybe maybe bucking the 32 volts, but this looks extraordinarily like the um, example example circuit on the on the spec sheet. Anyway, what I thought I'd do is I'd, I'd get this uh, under test and see if it can uh, handle QC2 and QC3. Um, and then, you know, if, if possible, move on to the next step of putting together a mobile uh, power bank that can handle QC2 and QC3. So what I decided I'd do is I would um, hook up the power to it from this power module over here. And then I would use this uh, one of these testers. I've got a lot of different load testers. There's a few of them here on the desk. This one is a, a neat little one which has built-in tools to um, uh, simulate QC3, QC0, and Pump Express. QC0, QC3, QC2, and Pump Express. Uh, so let me connect this uh, via USB here. Here it is. Here, this is the software. Here, I need to uh, pop this onto the. Uh, input terminal on the load on the load uh, electronic load. Uh, make sure the power is off. Uh, connect the uh, power rail.
and pop that on. Okay, we've got a blue light on there indicating it's got power, and we've got 5.1 volts on the output. So let me just pop in a, a token 1 amp in there for the time being. Um, and in the tool section, here we go, a quick charge test. Uh, now you can do this in manual and automatic mode. Uh, I'll do it in a manual mode for QC2, which means uh, uh, hitting start. And uh, that should have been a QC2 handshake to let it know it wants 5 volts. Um, I can increase it to 9 volts and it should there it is, it's gone up to 9 volts. The blue line is the voltage and the flat line is the um, is the current. And again, it can support 12, 12 volts in QC2. So again, one more increase. There we go, we're up to 12 volts. Uh, and let's see us uh, come down again. There we are, 9 volts. And again down to 5 volts all through software control. There's a great video on, on YouTube I'll see if I can get it in post and stick it on the screen which shows you how this handshaking works with various X and Y combinations of voltages to uh, uh, ensure that they understand exactly what uh, voltage to deliver. So let's stop that test uh, let's go into um, QC3 and uh, Try your auto, shall we? And let's hit start on that. And we're at okay, it, it's, it's dropping down to its lower voltage, which is about 3.5 volts, I think. Uh, so now it, it's at 3.5 volts, one amp. If I, if I hit uh, uh, or increase, um, will, it, will it automatically step up? Try that again. Okay, here we go. Let's get a full screen on that. So now it's going up in 200 millivolt steps, as you can see. Um, and it should take us all the way up. Well, the module can only support 12 volts. The, the spec says 20 volts, but this tops out at 12 volts, which is fine. Uh, so it should take us all the way to 12 volts in uh, 200 millivolt steps. I'll fast forward this bit. OK, and there we have it, um, up to 12 volts. Uh, if I hit um, the negative button, it should start um, coming down again. And again, uh, I'll fast forward that. Great, uh, I mean, absolutely perfect. Um, automatically uh, adjusting the voltage all the way through to 12 volts and back down to 3.5 volts. So, amazing little chip, um, full marks. Um, let me let me stop this test. And what we'll do is, I mean, uh, it should be able to take 18 watts. So, what we'll do is we'll do a step test. We'll get out of this. We'll do an auto test. Um, we'll have a start current of uh, two amps. And let me see, 5 volts, um, well, I mean, the spec on the, on the listing for, on AliExpress is 25, which is almost 5 amps, that ain't going to happen. But let's take it through to uh, 3.5 amps and see where we get. 3.5 amps times, uh, well, let's, let's go up to 3.6 and see how far we get before the thing conks out. Um, increments, we'll do it in uh, 0.1 increments every 2 seconds. Uh, let's give it a go. So what what you can see is um, the current um, is is going up uh, two point three uh, sorry two point four two point seven. Uh, the voltage is hanging down around three point five. Now it's remembered the setting 
from the last intelligent instruction it received. Uh, let me cancel that. What we really need to be doing is we need to be setting it at um, 5 volts. So let me go back to the tools, a quick charger test. Let's set it at 5 volts and hit start. Oh, I'm still in auto test. Let's go down to 5 volts. And there we are. It's set at 5 volts. I'll stop that. I'll go into the auto test and hit start on that one. And we should be at 5 volts now. Yes, we are. Excellent. 5 volts. And we're at uh, 2 amps uh, current and heading up. Now we have the uh, power display up here, uh, 12 watts, um, 13 watts, I'm guessing around 18 it should start to conk out uh, if, the, if the spec of that uh, chip is correct. And we're at 15, 16, 17, 17 and a half. Okay, it, it comes out at 17.5. Okay, which isn't bad. Um, now, the other thing I'd like to test is whether or not this thing uh, has a high or low quiescent current. So let me turn this power off on here for the time being. What I need to do is uh, uh, get over here and break into this circuit with the aid of um, some crocodile clips. I'll do it on the low side. Well, 450 uh, microamps. Oh, we haven't got power on, idiot. Let's take that out again. Okay, well, that's a bit different. 160, um, 1 1.6 milliamps. That's not uh, insignificant. Um, any difference if there's anything connected to it? No wouldn't expect there to be. Okay, so 1.6 um, milliamps in, in quiescent current mode. My guess is a large, large portion of that will be that stupid LED in there. Anyway, uh, on to the next stage, which is to uh, try and get a uh, battery attached to this and see if we can get my phone into a quick charge mode and get it charged really quickly. See you in the workshop. He was outside a bar when a man approached him and punched him in the face and ended up in hospital. A 32-year-old has been released under investigation. Male GPs in the NHS are currently earning about a third more. Tell your smart speaker to play Greatest Hits Radio. Feeling very summery this afternoon, dry and sunny with temperatures reaching 18 degrees. That's the latest on the Okay, small problemo. I didn't have a 3S um, lithium-ion BMS. I thought I had a ton of them, but I can't. I, either I don't have them or I can't find them. Uh, the idea was to uh, the idea was to um, uh, use a 12 volt charger to charge a 3S lithium-ion pack, and then use the pack, plug it in to this uh, module when needed, uh, but, but also um, I could charge the pack with that 12 volt charger and use this uh, with a 12 volt charger in the house uh, as well, um, which would give me the quick charge capability. So I get the, the best of all worlds, I get charging on the go and I get uh, something at home where I can plug it into a socket on the wall. As it happens I've got an 8.4 volt here which is fine, uh, 12 volts will be better. Uh, I can uh, plug this into here, 8.4 volts, uh, radonite battery and um, I'm good to go. So all I need to do now is plug this into the this USB-C cable into there and then 
Um, it's a long cable, <laughs> a bit of a voltage drop on this. Um, right. And there we go. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll, there's a screen recorder on this, I'll put it, pop it on the screen. But it's registered fast charge now. So now uh, I've got uh, two 3400 um, uh, milliamp hour lithium ion 3.7 cells in series, giving me 8.4 volts at 3400, which is about 24 watt hours, which is uh, uh, about double the capacity of the um, battery in the phone and it's allowing me to fast charge the phone using QC 2.0. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's given me a few ideas. A cheap QC3, QC2 charger, both at home when it's plugged into a um, a 12 volt power supply or 8.4 volt power supply and on the go when you plug it into a lithium ion battery. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. All the best. Cheers.